G'day all, so in this video here we're going to be looking at graphing rates of change. So just go through this word question here and break down what we're doing. You'll see that I've already set up a bit of a graph down the bottom. So two cars are driven in a straight line for five kilometers, okay? So they're going five kilometers. They both go from point A to point B and start at the same time, okay? So they're starting at the same time. So they'll be starting from the same spot. They're actually driving in parallel to each other. So each car travels with a constant speed. So they're going to have a constant speed. Speed of car Y is twice of car X. And car X is going 40 kilometers an hour. Illustrate this with a distance time graph. So with this, you'll see at the side, I've already got my distance up to 5 kilometers because that's how far in total they go. And I've just done a bit of a dotted line at the top to show that's where we're going to be ending. They're both, both going to be starting from time of zero. So that's just going to be in this corner here. All right. So they're both going to be starting from that corner there. We just need to work out essentially how long it takes them to go 5 kilometers. So to do this... All we need to do, if they're going 5 kilometers for and 40 kilometers an hour, we can actually get it back to our time in hours. All right? So if we have, so we're trying to like figure out our time. And we'll start off with X. So X is going 40 kilometers an hour. And Y is going twice of that, so hopefully we can all do some simple maths there. That's going to be 80 kilometers per hour. So the time for this one, it's how long? So 5, because they're going 5 kilometers in total. And we're going to be dividing that by 40 kilometers per hour. So here... Hopefully you realise this is one eighth of an hour and I'll just keep it as one eighth of an hour. It doesn't say that it needs to be in minutes or anything like that. So just try and not overcomplicate your graph. So next we'll work out 80 kilometres hour. If they're going twice the distance though, hopefully you realise that this is going to be essentially, I mean if they're going, t sorry, not half the distance, double the speed, that they will take half the time so this is 5 kilometers over 80 kilometers per hour. This is equal to 1 16th of an hour. So all we need to do is show this on our distance versus time graph. So I'm just going to do a couple of values down the bottom. You'll notice I didn't put the values down the bottom before I worked it out, just so you can... Um, accurately draw it okay if you put your values in first your values you work out mightn't be correct and it just might make graphing a little bit difficult so I always suggest try and leave your values in the graph until the end so we'll call this um, I'll just try and count some spots here so that's eight spots there so that could be uh, our 1 16th, and then the next one will be a 1 8th that I'm just counting out. Okay, so here we're going to have our 1 16th of an hour here, we're going to have our 1 8th, and then it is to stays to scale there, okay, because we've only shown those two values. So it does make it a little bit easier in graphing. Now we just need to graph these out, and I'll try and do my best at drawing straight lines on my iPad. So first we'll go with our Y, and I'll just do... So this is car Y, it's going to be in this colour. And this goes to 1 16th up here. So... So 
So that shows car Y, and we'll do car X in green. Oh, I probably shouldn't do it in green actually, because that's the colour of the top one. So yet again, try and get these straight. Drawing graphs on an iPad with what I've got isn't quite the easiest, but we'll get there. So that's our car X. You should probably have two lines, but hopefully you get the picture here. So this is what our distance versus time graph shows, okay? So with these questions, just first try and figure out your missing information that we did here, okay? Figuring out our time. Just remember your units always give you a hint on how to get, say, a time by itself. So we need to divide by the per hour and that will make it into hours. And then kilometers divided by kilometers, that essentially gets rid of the kilometers there. So that's how you can guide yourself into understanding how to get that unit by itself if you are a little bit unsure. So the units always give you a hint on how to get that. And then just make sure you have a scale Okay, make sure everything is to scale when you're graphing out or so you're putting your units down the bottom or that and then just make sure you label everything. Okay, so the graph is nice and clear and it is understanding what it is showing. Okay, so it is integral that you do do all these things. Have your, have your scale there if there is one. Okay, put everything to scale. Uh, have it labeled very clearly okay so just make sure you're doing those things when you're graphing rate questions and good luck